WA4IAM, VY0HL. Bye-bye. Kilowatt Bravo 3, Romeo Hotel, Romeo. Julian Whiskey. Uh, KB3, go ahead. Yeah, Kilowatt Bravo 3, Romeo Hotel, Romeo. Good afternoon, Larry. Roger, uh, KB3 RHR VY0 HL. Good signal, 5 and 9 plus, over. Yeah, very good. Boy, I can't believe uh, we're working on 17. We've never worked on 6 in all these years. Uh, I watch your spots on the cluster and uh, always listen for you, but I never hear you there, Larry, over. Yeah, tell me about it. It's uh, it's not a, it's an interesting spot up here from the, from the 6 meter perspective, you know. it's uh, I'm, in, I'm inside the oval, so... Uh, you know, it's different propagation. Anything down your way is, what, double hop, I guess. And, um, you know, I mean, it's it's there. I've worked into your into your neck of the woods many times. But, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes 100 miles can make a big difference. Over. Yeah, Roger, very good. Well, I, I bet you, uh, what do you got to turn your, uh, your antenna? probably turns, what, uh, maybe 70, 80 degrees, and you've got the whole U.S. covered. I'm not sure, but... Uh, Anyways, well, I'm making a little video for you for YouTube, uh, just goofing around here this afternoon, this morning. Anyways, uh, bands uh, worked a little bit of meteor scatter this morning, but nothing transpiring uh, as of yet. But anyways, good signal down here, five nine plus ten almost here in uh, near Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, VY zero HL from KB three RHR. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, KB three RHR VY zero HL. Uh, a couple of evenings ago, uh, last night I heard a few beacons. I heard uh, November 8th, Papa Uniform, what is it, Mike, I think it is, uh, in, where is that one, Michigan, I think. Um, and, uh, last night didn't hear too much, didn't work. I worked one station in, uh, in uh, St. Marie, Ontario, but just a very, like it was an instant, uh, almost like meteor scatter, but obviously it wasn't. It was a very, very brief opening, and, uh, but, you know, I find Saturday, uh, Saturday nights, you know, I don't know what it is. I hear lots of beacons Saturday nights, but it seems like a lot of six-meter ops take Saturday night off, over. Well, I don't know. It just seems like... It just seems like any evening, um, you you must be getting some kind of different stuff than you know, what I'm used to. I mean, you must be getting some Aurora enhanced stuff. Um, I see you spot, and then I turn and listen. And, and now that I think about it, maybe you and I have worked one time before, but it was a brief few so. But uh, I don't know. You you get everything late at night, and I don't know. I mean, I wish I could be there to operate with you, but I, I'm not sure. I hear nothing in the day. Well, I won't say any time. But virtually nothing in the daytime. Now you got to remember that there's nothing really, other than a few beacons, there's nothing close to me. There's nothing single hop. The only thing that single hop is, uh, is well, maybe there's a, a few stations. I'm not sure if Michelle is single hop. Maybe it's Michelle is single hop. But in the daytime, there's nothing. Now, most of the time, I'm at work in the daytime, so perhaps it's not a really good analysis I can give you. Uh, but on the weekends, I don't hear anything on six uh, during the daytime. It's always uh, in the evening. And if you look at the Terminator line, as soon as that Terminator hits, uh, as soon as the gray line hits, uh, you know, the east coast of, uh, of Greenland, then I start to hear stuff. But it seldom happens before that. So, you know, I don't know what's going on. I, I did a loss to try and explain it over. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, Michelle... Uh... Yeah, I was going to say Michelle should be your uh, single hop, but uh, uh, yeah, that's interesting stuff, man. You just can, I, that's probably why I love it so, is that you can never put your finger on it, and that's what keeps me coming back. But uh, anyways, well listen, I'll wrap this video up here, and uh, uh, I'll shoot it out to you maybe here later on, uh, as long as you're, uh, I see your uh, email on QRZ, so maybe we'll shoot it out to you later. But good to hear you, Larry, and uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. You keep doing what you're doing up there. Uh, uh, doing a fine job, and uh, I guess uh, have a good rest of the summer. And uh, we'll talk to you again. VY Zero uh, Hotel Lima from Kilowatt Boston Three Red Hot Radio. Roger, Roger. Well, if you look at the, if you kind of follow the way the way I spot here, it's, it follows a very similar pattern. I'll usually hear the east beacons first, and then I'll start to hear immediately after that. Within a half an hour, I'll start to hear all the western beacons. You know, the four beacons, the five MG, those. But uh, the ones, you know, uh, scattered around the U.S. Canada border, uh, they don't necessarily uh, come in every evening. You know, so it's, it is weird. It's really strange. And you're absolutely right. It's uh, it's all related to aurora because when the aurora is stronger, uh, I hear the beacons more frequently.
be stronger and all that kind of stuff. So it's for me, if I don't see anything in the Ring of Fire on the Aurora map, I don't even listen because it's virtually useless. Anyway, 7-3, we'll see you later, and hopefully we will work on uh, on 6, uh, if we haven't yet, uh, one of these days. KB3 RHR, BY0 HL. Yeah, real quick, Larry, we'll give everybody at home an idea of what the name of the island is you're on, your inhabitants and stuff. Uh, I'll post it up to YouTube here in a little bit, but give everybody a little brief description of where you're at and what's going on up there. Uh, the island is called Baffin Island, Bravo Alpha Fox, Fox India, November. It's a fairly big island. It's the seventh largest island in the world, about 700,000 square kilometers. It's to the west of Greenland, uh, running in a sort of a north-west, southeast direction. Very, uh, a very uh, um, irregular shaped island. Uh, lots of mountains on it. Uh, uh, north of me here is a place called Ayuwitup National Park. has one of the, the highest vertical rock faces in the world. It's very popular with uh, rock climbers. It's, it's a big challenge, and only the best of the best would even tackle it. But it's uh, And I've been there. I've stood at the base of uh, Mount Thor. It's quite, uh, uh, quite intimidating to look up 6,000 feet uh, vertical rock face above you. And you don't want to be there when the rocks fall off it either. 7-3. Thanks for the chat. Uh, KB3 RHR, BY0HL. 7-3, Larry, take care. With the Alpha Zero Mike Juliet with the Green.